everyone, for this video, we'll be reviewing Hasbro's Beyblade Burst Rise Flare Cobra. So this is a Surge Hypersphere release. Technically, this should have been released in Rise, so I don't really count it as a new Surge release. But uh, this alongside with your Seal F uh, is supposed to be the other wave of uh, Surge Hypersphere. Uh, this one finally gives us the missing piece to the layer bases they were supposed to release, which is Flare. So, I'm gonna give you all a funny little story because it's it's hilarious. Okay, so the naming, it's not actually a Hasbro exclusive. It's supposed to be called Hydra, but here's what they did. At the start, they released Viper Hydrax, right? And it was supposed to technically be a Typhon evolution. And if you look at the designs, you're like, yeah, well, that's really close. Why'd they call it Hydrax? Nobody knows. <laughs> So they, they did this whole little thing, but technically speaking, the name should be Hydra or technically Hydrax originally, because this is obviously Poison Hydra, but they released Poison on Poison Cyclops. So just to give you the whole runaround for all the weird mix and match, uh, the parts that it comes with is two and a new Hypersphere tip, which is Planet, uh, or Planetary, whatever they call it. Uh, download the Beyblade Burst app. And we show the code at the end of the video. Yeah, these are the stats, three and three. I'm curious to see how they did flare. By curious, I mean make fun of it because they literally did the same, they did the same mistake. The exact same mistake that they did in uh, Turbo where originally Zutron had uh, removed the metal balls and they did another release where they fixed it. Uh, again, the whole gimmick was the metal balls on the thing, aside from shape, and they removed it. It's not new for Rise that they removed gimmicks, but I still find it funny, if that makes sense. Anyways, yeah, let's go part by part. Going over to the part by part, we have our GT chip, which is Cobra. So right next to the Takara Tomy version, uh, yeah, it's pretty much got the detail, minus the little sticker that usually always goes here and there. Uh, you know, it looks fine or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm just... I don't, I don't get the idea of calling it Cobra, because it is a Hydra, right? That's the whole design on the chip with all the heads and whatever. Uh, but, uh, whatever, I guess. Uh, the slopes on it, if you are thinking that they are good, they are sadly not. The slopes are like, meh. They are okay at best. They aren't really that tight at all, to be honest. I don't think the performance tip is helping it either. The performance tip also has a weak spring, but, uh... Yeah, that was the chip right there. And now, oh boy, we get to the real beauty. Hold on, let me get it ready. We get Hasbro's Flare. Um, so the biggest criticism I'm gonna have is that at least paint it fully, man. Like, why does Hasbro always, why do I gotta keep on, why do they always do half detail? Look, it goes here, here. They don't do this part, and they literally did not paint the layer weights. Why? So obviously side by side to the actual flare, the, 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 the difference is huge. Obviously flare had these little metal balls and for the truth, ah, look at that. It's completely hollowed out. Oh no. Yeah, this is not gonna be good at all. I don't even think it'll be that good for Rise cause look at all that empty space there is inside of it. Ugh. Ugh. What? It doesn't look right. Whatever. I don't even, it wasn't even that cool that they did it. Cause like for the other ones, it was like, oh, attack Leviathan. Oh, they gave it a new chip. It was like this one, it's like, it's not even a new chip. So yeah, this is like really whatever. Obviously if you do a side by side on the bases, the difference is extremely clear. It is a heavily modified shape. In fact, Hasbro actually looks a little bit thinner on the thick wings compared to TT. So a huge difference there. So not only did they heavily modify the shape, they actually hollowed it out. Now it's a lot thinner. I don't think it'll be that good if it ends. If there's some way that this ends up being good, you'll hear me say it. Um, moving on to whatever. I don't. It just doesn't really matter to me that much, to be honest. Uh, I am a little bit disappointed, actually, that they didn't do the around disc. Uh, the around disc was basically a disc that had like. Come on, I didn't even gotta explain it. Come on, man. They couldn't. They couldn't even do it. Ah, uh, no, no, no. They can't do the good discs. They can't even do a limited version of this disc. You know how they did like 
even if the discs weren't good. You know they did like the weak version of Blitz and all the discs that of the gimmicks? What? They didn't even do it for a round. And I know they didn't do it because Jit Wyvron doesn't even have it. Whatever. Uh, the more interesting part is Planetary. This is our new hypersphere tip. Obviously, if you do a side-by-side -side with Planet, uh, Hasbro never released Planet. Never. They never did a release of it. Planet originally was supposed to come on Galaxy Zootron, or it should have been technically even on Asteroid Zootron. Uh, the gimmick is obviously, you know, metal ball, metal balls. Uh, with the hypersphere version, uh, obviously not. Uh, this actually got a really cool shape. It just got a pretty cool shape, I would say. I kind of like the shape of it. It's not really that special, obviously, you know, it's the same rounded shape, but, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll take what I can get for complimenting this thing. Uh, but, hey, what's the symbol look like? Hey, I like it. Look, they always change the symbols on the, the drivers that aren't the same. I, I, I like that detail. Alright, uh, we got the scale. Well, let's see how much this thing weighs. Ugh. How do I even do this? Do I have to, like, get, like... Yeah, whatever, I'll just get Flare Drag, it doesn't really matter. Alright, we got the scale right here. I'll do it properly, I'll do it properly. We've got the Hydra chip, or excuse me, the Cobra chip. Eh, it weighs that much. How much does this one weigh? Oh, okay. It weighs a little bit more. So, flare on its own, we're already looking at 15.31. With the layer weight, it would have been 23. 10. But technically, without the layer weight, it would have been uh, 15 versus 10. But either way, like the weight difference, we, we, can, we already know. We already know. Uh, next up, uh, the two disc right here is supposed to weigh about 21. Uh, Planet TT is about 9.3. Makes sense. Uh, so I guess we'll just do Flare Hydra in comparison to the Cobra. So it's like 62 versus 43. So the difference there is like huge, and I guess technically, so I have to do it like this. The side by side is either way. What happened to my boy? <laughs> I just wish more detail at least. Like whatever, it's nerfed. It has bro. If they want to just ruin the base, they can. But at least put the detail on it, man. It doesn't look that bad, but hmm. Huh. So technically speaking, the side-by-side -side with Hasbro, although I did paint this with more detail because again, it had like no detail on it. Uh, either way, yeah, this thing is kind of whatever. Before we actually uh, get started, I did want to just show a little side-by-side -side with the two just so you can get the idea. Uh, yeah, this is really like a huge difference uh, between the two. Two on rip. All right, how's it gonna do? All right, it kind of moves around. Well, she just stays in the center, kind of. All right. The phony Hydra, the Hydrax. All right, see, this makes me sad, because I just... <laughs> I made the joke, and it lost. Wow. So this thing really does suffer like Dusk and some other hollowed out ones does. It's uh, too thin or whatever, so it just bursts easy. Here. Ugh. And that hit me. Surely it's not that bad, right? All right, flare versus tact. Come on. Please, please, please. Don't. Oh my god. Let's do monster ogre. Maybe it beats mom. Maybe it beats monster. I'll, I'll be happy. 
No, okay. Didn't even get the name right. Poison Cyclops. Hey, come on, man. It's really not good. Okay, okay. <sighs> I, I, uh, uh, Typhon. Beat up that one at least. Can't, can't be ty ty Typhon? It can't, it can't even beat that. It can't even beat that. <laughs> Okay, good hit. Can it be master? Master. All my questions end with no, it can't. All right, Eclipse Genesis. All right, we got like one good round, only one. And I promise you, if I do a second one, it's gonna die. Let's do it. Oh, okay, well actually now we're, now we're actually tied for who is hitting who out, so. Yeah, it's not better than Eclipse. Maybe it is, does it outspin Eclipse? Okay, okay. Let's do the final test for it though. Okay, knocked it out. All right, now we're now we're even. So far, this is the most interesting. Okay, it sucks. All right, whatever. Let's get it against TT. Zero glaive orbit metal. I tried my best not to hard launch the TT because if I did, you know. We know what would happen. All right, this is, uh, unfortunately, the last battle. Can it redeem itself? Yeah, no contest, all right. Not even by hypersphere standards, it's good. Uh, I don't know. All right, uh, final thought, oh. Before you kill me in the comments. Before you kill me, there you go. Scan it. Have fun scanning it. I'm gonna hold it for five more seconds. Four more seconds. And that's it. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on Flare Cobra. So I've already shown the QR. So I've actually had to double take on this because even I couldn't tell what made it so bad. So I think that if we were to compare Hydra to something like Ogre, I would say that Ogre feels like the tighter chip. Now, I thought maybe it's the planet performance tip that's holding it back. But when I put this on Asteroid Zootron, it's like tight, it's pretty good. So then after I realized, well then it can't be the performance tip that's holding it back, it's got like a good spring on it. Performance is kind of whatever. So then after I was thinking, what's holding it back? I think that because of the fact that it is so hollowed out and the chip has like bad slopes, that it made me think the tip on it was bad. No, it's just the layer base and the chip that are really bad. So if you are looking for Cobra, I would say don't buy it just because like unless you want planet hyper like if you're a hypersphere collector all right fine go for it planet hypersphere but like let's say like competitive wise you're like you're looking is this really worth anything not even by rye standards i think this is good i think the chip sucks and the layer base sucks so i don't know 
I think Tech Leviathan was a super, it was one I liked a lot. This one is sadly not the case. So like I'll say, you know, performance tip, good spring, chip, bad slopes, layer base, bad. So these are my final thoughts on it. Of course, you are the viewer. You can decide what you want to get. I'm not here to force you to get whatever or not to get whatever. It is your choice. Oh, also, I just realized they did the color scheme kind of on the dragon for Cobra. No wonder it looks like that. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Come on. Are they going to do like asteroid flare next or something? <laughs> yeah, anyways, bye.